Assalamu alaikum and what's up everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. All right, today I am going to be giving you my review thoughts on the Sony A6400. Better late than never, I guess you could say. I've seen a lot of reviews on it, and the camera's pretty amazing. You know, I've seen the pros and the cons and everything else in between. I honestly used the camera for roughly about one week, and it did the job. This is a 24.2 APS camera, crop sensor. Mainly, I would say, used for vloggers. Vloggers can really take advantage of a camera like this. But not only vloggers, semi-pro can also use this camera as well. The, the photos that come out of this camera are pretty impressive. 24.2 megapixels, pretty good. Right now, the lens that I have on it is the 10 to 18 with the optical steady shot. So, yeah, I know, no IBIS on the body, but if you get a lens that has, that, that has the optical steady shot in it, you're still good to go. So one big thing that Sony did is articulated screen. This is a huge, huge plus. Now vloggers can see themselves while they record. So like right now, I'm using a monitor on the camera on the a7 III that we're shooting with. But if I was vlogging, just like that, I could see myself right on it. So that's pretty cool. So let me give you a little bit of a rundown on what my thoughts are on this camera. The eye autofocus. Sony is known for having a great focus system with the eye autofocus on the A6400. It's very, very impressive. You can now choose either eye. You can choose the left eye or the right eye. So that's pretty good. And if it's not catching the eyes, it catches the face. For, for, so for whatever reason, if the eyes are not being picked up, it catches the face, squares off the face, and that is something really handy, especially for you portrait guys who try to keep everything in focus. Very, very important. Pretty impressive feature. Okay, I got a young man here with glasses, and if I press my finger on the button for the eye autofocus, it picks up his right eye, and then if he turns to his right, let me see, turn to your right, Let's see, it picks up his face. So his eyes are gone, but it's still tracking his face. That is pretty impressive. Let me see, turn back around. All right, turn the other, oh, picked up his right eye, then went to his left eye, okay, turn to the other side now. And see, it just went right to his face. So that's pretty impressive. Look towards me again. All right, let me see, remove the glasses. And it's got his eyes with glasses off, and obviously with glasses off, but let me put your glasses right back on and with the glasses on. So pretty impressive, right? Pretty cool. All right, one additional cool feature that they added on this camera is now finally, you can actually hit record with the shutter button. See, the record button is still on the side, so that's still uh, kind of annoying a little bit, but now you can hit record with the shutter button right on top. In the past, you couldn't program it that way. Now you could. Another cool feature that they added is log and HLG. So for those of you guys that love to shoot videos and for you vloggers out there, you can go a step further and perfect your color grading and capture as much data as possible by shooting in a log profile. All right, the biggest, biggest benefit for those of you guys that record a lot, there is no more 29 minute cutoff. In the past, the A6500, 29 minutes, 30 minutes, that's it. It's enough, you're done. You can't record more than that. Now there's no more cutoff. You can record a lot longer. So that is a huge benefit. No more overheating. This camera does not overheat. You can shoot your videos, shoot your vlogs, and you can continue on shooting. You should be all right with that because it's been tested, does not overheat. Pretty cool. Good job on that Sony. All right, another cool, another cool thing. Face priority in multimetering. What does that mean? Exposure of the face comes out before the background. So the priority is the face. This is very important if you're vlogging. If the camera's on you and you want everything to be focused and exposed for you first on your face, this is where this comes in. Really handy, very cool option. I did a lot of research on the color science because I, I was told that the color science is on point. Well, it's definitely, 
definitely a lot better than before, I'll tell you that. So I checked online, I checked through the camera, and I did a little bit of a comparison, and the color science definitely is an improvement. The camera also shoots 11 frames per second. So if you're shooting sports, if you're shooting some birds, if you're shooting people kicking the ball here and there, 11 frames per second, pretty impressive. Silent shooting, if you're at a sports event, if you're at your kid's game, or if you're, uh, if you're at a golf course, or if you're at the, uh, if you're shooting birds, silent shooting on an A6400, on a small camera, silent shooting, that, those are A9 options, flagship options, pretty cool. Another thing I forgot to mention before, when you, you know, since there's no overheating issue, in the 4K setup, when, uh, with the A6500, the screen would dim, doesn't happen anymore. Very cool, very cool. So the touch screen, fully operational, and the dimming of the screen does not happen. Okay, most important, this is a big one, the battery. So a lot of people complain about the battery. They said, oh, it's still the same size battery as the A6500, uh, it's not an improvement. Well, guess what? They are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I honestly thought the same thing because I had the A6500 and I was like, oh, it's the same size battery, you know, that, so that means we got to use a ton of batteries again just to shoot all day, but that is absolutely not the case. It is the same size battery as the A6500, but I'm assuming because it processes differently or it's not overheating or whatever the case may be, it actually lasts longer. In fact, I got some stats that I wrote down for you guys through my research and testing. So here's what I got so far through my testing. The uh, A6400, you can shoot 410 photos, 125 minute video. So that's how much you can get out of this battery. The A6500, ready for this? 350 photos, 105 minute video. So that's a difference. Actually, that's a big help, you know? The battery, big plus, big help. It's the same, but the performance is way better, and I'm assuming it's because the way the camera actually operates. Okay, so one important thing that I wanted to talk about that a lot of people, well, some of the people that reviewed this camera have mentioned is the lack of in-body stabilization. IBIS, lack of IBIS. If you're buying this camera and you're on a budget and you wanted a good camera, that good quality camera that's up to date, and you're missing IBIS. Number one, most of the lenses that we use have, like this one, optical steady shot. The lens itself can stabilize the footage. Number two, most of you guys shoot on gimbals. If you're not shooting on a gimbal, you're taking your time and you're shooting slow, either slow motion, or you're still dragging it slow or you have it on a tripod or whatever the case may be. So I didn't really see it as a big issue at all. Testing out, tested out the footage, not that bad. If, if it's on a, again, if it's on a gimbal, there's no issue at all. If it's on a tripod, still no issue. If I'm shooting slow motion, absolutely no issue. And in post with all the stuff that you can do in post to stabilize your footage, it's really not that big of a deal, especially if you're just gonna invest a little bit more and get a proper lens with, with, with the steady shot capabilities inside it. It's a win-win. So, if, you know what, look, if you want in-body stabilization and you want the more advanced features, then you would step up the camera. You would step up your price. If you got the money, you'd step up and buy the next best thing. But if your budget is right around this camera, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. So to me, this is a good deal, it's a bargain, and it's a cool camera, all right? So I hope you guys like my vlog, I hope you guys like my info. If you would like to see more reviews about cameras and other equipment, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. It really makes a difference if you hit like. If you hit subscribe, it makes a bigger difference. So uh, talk to you guys soon. I'll catch you on the next one. Salaam alaikum.